America on a show that's not immune to the facts with your host, Dan Bongino. Listen, I'm telling you this. The Cuomo stuff is a total distraction. You may be asking yourself, hey, Dan, you may be emailing me. Uh, I've gotten a few emails about this, DMs and other things and tweets and parlays and other stuff. Why aren't we talking more about Cuomo? Because it's a distraction. It's a total distraction. The Democrats in New York have figured out that Biden is mishandled, New York is mishandled, and a lot of liberal states have entirely mishandled and blown the response to coronavirus. Parents are in an uproar over the potential for uh, masking in schools again, which is not going to work, potentially closing the schools again. Businesses are being closed down in a lot of these liberal states, and they needed a distraction. And what comes along in perfect time? Andrew Cuomo, who, by the way, they didn't even like anyway. That's why I'm not wasting time on this. It is a total Democrat distraction. Democrats don't do anything by accident, folks. The reason they're throwing this guy under the bus now is, one, candidly, he's just a jerk. Nobody likes him. Ask anyone in New York. So they were like, let's just get rid of this joker now. We'll make it a national news story, and no one will pay attention to the fact that we want to close down businesses again. We mishandled coronavirus, and we want kids in masks in schools despite parents' protestations. That's why. That's all I'm going to say about Cuomo, because I've got a lot of important stuff to talk to uh, uh, talk about today, including the new Fauci fear campaign. The new, they're not even hiding it anymore. And possibly the worst soundbite of the week. We know Democrats are hypocrites. They usually hide it. Democrat Rep. Cory Bush is not even smart enough to hide it. This is this one is just fantastic. Sorry, I'm like joking Call on teams. it. Folks, protect your online privacy zone. today. Don't Ready wait. Get a VPN. Go to expressvpn.com slash Bongino. Welcome to the Dan Bongino Show. Let's get right to it. We've also got one story today proving my golden rule that most Republicans are really Democrats. However, no Democrats on Capitol Hill are really Republicans. You will see that story uh, coming up shortly. Folks, once summer rolls around, your underwear feels like you've run a marathon before breakfast. No way. We don't like that. That's why you need Apollo by Tommy John. Apollo men's underwear is proven to keep you drier and up to seven degrees cooler than regular cotton underwear. They sent me a sample pair. Amazing. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. They have fanatics like me. I've been wearing them forever. Apollo underwear is soft, supportive, stretches for the perfect fit Get every day and is available up to size 4XL. With over 15 million pairs sold, men across America love Tommy John underwear because there's no more flopping. There's no more sticking, and there's no more chafing. I have been a fan for a long time. The only downside to Tommy John is you will wash them, put them at the top of your drawer, and you'll never wear another pair again other than your Tommy John. The other brands are out. And like all Tommy John underwear, Apollo comes with the best pair you'll ever wear or its free guarantee. Tommy John's new Apollo men's underwear is high-end for your rear end, and you can't get them anywhere else. What are you guys laughing at? Like, you, they love Tommy gotcha. John. Said, hey, Guy and Justin think these are the best. Stands ever. Right now, get 20% off your first order at TommyJohn.com slash Dan. Go to TommyJohn.com slash Dan for 20% off. TommyJohn.com slash Dan. See site for details. All right, Joe, let's go. All right, folks, I, I, I have to throw this so in there before we get stop. started. Please do not miss my show, Unfiltered, on Fox this weekend, Saturday night at 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Eastern time. <laughs> Where we will have who? You know, come on. Former President Trump, which is going to be spectacular because me and him are going to banter back and forth for a long time. Love the guy. Don't miss the show. Set your DVR now. Watch it live, unfiltered, Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern on the Fox News Channel. My show, President Trump. Honored to have him on board. Okay. So Cuomo is a distraction. That's why we're not going to be distracted. And we're not going to talk about it because that's what they want you to do. They're trying to distract you because they are failing. It's not working. All of everything they're doing for coronavirus to try and scare you, to steal your civil liberties, they know it's starting to annoy the hell out of you. Even liberal parents are like, no, no, my kid's going back to school and you're not closing my business. And they're like, what do we do? Okay, first let's try the Cuomo distraction. And if that doesn't work, let's try another fear campaign. I'm sorry to keep having to hit you with this, but this is not going to stop. And if you're not aware of it, even the smartest conservatives can fall prey to it, too. The fear campaign is never going to stop, okay? I told you months ago. I said, here's this Delta variant. Go back. Listen to the show. I warned you months ago before this was even a thing. I said, the Delta variant's going to be their next fear campaign. 
even though deaths have remained, thankfully, as low as they were in March of 2020, thankfully, from the Delta variant. It is highly contagious. I told you there'd be a fear campaign because they need you scared all the time. It's the only way to get you to go along with their totalitarian agenda. Get it? Got it? Good. Now that the Delta variant it seems like it's peaking this week or in the coming weeks, they can't have that. Why? Because they need you scared. Here it is, this morning. As if on cue, folks. Axios. Fauci fears a COVID variant worse than Delta could become. Worse than Delta. Not only Delta Plus, Delta Triple Plus could be coming. It's never, ever going to stop. Folks, yes, viruses mutate. That is how the, the, the world, the cosmos as we know it works. The protein coat, the genetic material, the spike proteins, they can mutate. Why do viruses mutate? For the same reason mutations in human beings develop. We evolve, you know, genes change, genes are damaged, things happen. And the most survivable typically win the day. Of course, a virus that is more transmissible is going to be the one that's more transmissible. Is this hard to figure out? Like Fauci, who claims to be a medical doctor again, the guy, the guy went to medical school, is playing this stupid role here, claiming he doesn't understand how viruses mutate, and, you know, they could mutate, but it could be more dangerous. Let's, folks, I need to bring some sanity to this. The man is a medical doctor. He knows very well that because a virus mutates to become more transmissible, which will make it more transmissible, does not necessarily mean it will become more deadly. This is now the second time I've had to go back to this post. This is from a blog called The Rational Optimist by Matt Ridley, who actually has some experience in this space. Like Fauci says he has as well and keeps saying dumb things. The Delta Plus, the Delta Plus Plus, everyone's going to die. Please read this. I'm putting it in the newsletter for an unprecedented second time because you need to read the article. For those of you who are scared about Delta, Delta Plus, Delta Triple Plus, Epsilon Triple Duple Extra Supercalifragilistic Makes Me Allidocious Plus, virulent does not mean infectious. Published on uh, Tuesday, uh, June 29, 2021. That's the title of the piece. From the Matt Ridley piece, he makes the point that more transmissible does not necessarily mean more deadly. A virus mutates and, uh, uh, and becomes more transmissible. Therefore, if it's more transmissible, it's obviously going to be the one that wins the day. He says respiratory viruses tend to evolve to be more transmissible but less virulent. They do better if you go out about meeting people. This is not true of insect-borne or waterborne viruses, which don't care how sick you are. Insects or water do the going about for you. He says, and this is important, again, I've read this twice because you please stop getting ensnared in the never-ending fear propaganda campaign. He says, Ridley, that's why there are 200 kinds of the common cold, none of which is virulent, including OC43, a coronavirus that probably caused a terrible pandemic in 1889, but is now a fairly mild and common cold. Folks, can a virus mutate to become more deadly? Yes, it can. Do respiratory viruses typically do that? No, they don't. They become more transmissible. But think about it. To become more transmissible, what are the things you need? I'm sorry again, I have to repeat this for those of you who heard it the first time, but the fear won't stop until we educate ourselves and we cannot rely on the media and the so-called public health experts to do it for us because they're not educating, they're diseducating people by making them scared and giving them false information in many cases. A respiratory virus needs a host. If it mutates to become more transmissible and kills everyone in days, like the Mutaba virus from outbreak, you have no more hosts. Therefore, you won't have a respiratory virus because you won't have any host to transmit it. Therefore, these viruses become more transmissible, but in many cases, less virulent, less deadly. Does everybody get that? Think about his, and he uses the, uh, the uh, contrast with the insect and waterborne viruses. Dengue fever, whatever. They don't care if you die in a day or not, dengue fever. Not that it cares. It's a, you know, a pathogen. It doesn't know to care.
But whether you die from dengue in a day or a month and then can transmit it to others is irrelevant. You're not the vector. It's the insect. It doesn't need you. Yeah, right. It doesn't kill the insect. That's right. If you die or not, waterborne viruses are the same way. All right. I don't like to repeat shows, but ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry. I'm just getting very frustrated with the never-ending fear campaigns going on here and people getting suckered into it because it's leading to very bad decision-making. And Fauci is at the, the, the tip of the spear of all of this. Worst could happen. It could mutate into the Delta Triple Quadruple Plus. You know who else had enough of this crap? Mark Levin. Mark Levin, if you have not seen this last night, this is one of the most epic rants on television I have ever seen in my life, including from Mark, who does some epic material pretty much weekly on Hannity. He went on last night, and given everything that's going on, Biden's absolute failure to control the southern border at all. I mean, there's no southern border. I don't even want to use that term. Biden has dissolved the southern border. He has made it a unistate, a, uni, a, a, a unilandmass, I should say. Outside of Canada. Canada is closed. You're not allowed to come in from Canada. Anywhere else in the world, south, there, doesn't matter. South America, Mexico, Central America, A-OK. -okay. You just walk right on in, okay? So Levin has it right. Mark Levin went on Hannity last night. He's like, listen, this guy's opened the borders. He's ignored the Supreme Court and the eviction moratorium, which I told you about yesterday. Supreme Court, for the first time in decades, has ordered a president not to do something, and he did it anyway, Biden. He's like, nope. No eviction. Supreme Court said, you can't do that. You don't have the power to do that. Landlords got to pay bills, too. Biden said, screw you. We're doing it anyway. Levin's like, it's time to use the I word. This is a little long. We thought about cutting it up, but then I thought, nah, you know what? This is worth every second. Here's Levin. It's time to impeach this loser in the White House. Check this out. He's justified a federal statute, a Supreme Court decision. He knows that the CDC doesn't have the power to extend these uh, these moratoriums on rent. He says, we're going to do it anyway, because he listens to this Harvard emeritus professor, Lawrence Tribe. He's just violated the federal constitution. Now, let me say this. I brought this up on my radio show last week. Uh, Republicans, have you ever heard of the word impeachment? Are you guys going to go down to the border and whine yourselves to death? I know you're not in the majority, but you need to start explaining to the American people. This man just violated a Supreme Court decision. This man is the border wide open in violation of our immigration laws. I mean, you impeach Donald Trump when he's out of office because of a letter. You set up a phony incitement insurrection. This man is doing enormous damage to this country. People with the virus. He knows they have the virus. His government knows they have the virus. They're pushing them into the interior of the country. Now, what kind of a president does that to his own people? If he's not at least going to look That's out for the get. health and safety of the American people, then he needs to be removed. I know who's behind him, but the point is that's what impeachment is for. Not for the Democrats to chase every Republican president, but to get rid of this guy. He is a disaster. And again, I don't care if he's dim-witted or just stupid. It doesn't much matter. To allow people into this guy, first of all, to tell law-abiding Americans you're going to wear a mask even though you've been vaccinated. Little kids who do not give the virus or get the virus. You're going to be wearing masks because the NEA and the AFT told me to do so. Isn't it time to remove this? Well, isn't it time to remove this guy from the Oval Office or at least make an effort? So you tough guy Republicans who come on here, you tough guy Republicans on radio, how about it? The I word, impeachment. Let's start to talk about it. Or the 25th it's Amendment. It'll end. never happen. No but let's start to talk about it. He's doing more damage to this country, as far as I'm concerned, than any single one of our enemies. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's it, all right. You know, folks, it's time to start playing hardball. I said this a long time ago. Cutesy time is over. New rules are in effect. The old rules are out the window. The Democrats think impeachment is a strictly political tool to get rid of your political enemies, even when they don't have a reason. You know, fake impeachment one, fake impeachment two over Trump. Well, now we have a real reason. We have a president of the United States, the head of the executive branch, who monitors the chief law enforcement officer in the country, has them under his branch, EOP, executive officer of the presidency, who has dissolved our southern border and allowed a southern invasion, an invasion on our southern border. He has allowed, matter of fact, I take that back. Not as, only has he allowed it, he has welcomed it. 
in the middle of what they claim is an existential pandemic requiring the dissolving of civil liberties. If that's not impeachable, I don't know what is. The fact that he just ignored the Supreme Court and violated our Constitution as well, that's icing on the cake. These are real reasons to impeach. Get it done now, right now. No more BS from you guys. You know my golden rule. Most Republicans are really Democrats. No right, Democrats are really Republicans. This proves it right now. Get on the phone with your lawmakers today. Impeach this guy. Matter of fact, let me let you in on a little secret. I'm not supposed to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. You know, I've been working on an entire parallel economy. I have an activism site coming. You know, I did a line pay, all these things, right? I have an activism site coming. It's going to allow you with one button to petition, contact your lawmaker. It's going to make it super easy. That's coming very soon, very soon. I'm going to recommend this is our first petition. What do you think? Get your, all your lawmakers. It'll connect you directly to your lawmakers. Super simple. It's not going to be complicated at all. I'll give you the website coming up soon.